right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to prevent eye stams. Now, in this video, we're also gonna sh show you something a little bit differently that they do in the Northeast, something that we don't do in the Southeast or anywhere else I've been in the United States to prevent eye stams. Something a little bit unique, and we're gonna hop up on this roof and take a look. get started too far into the video, I want you to know who I am. My name is Zach Flingasoff. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I'm also a U.S. military veteran. All right, let's go ahead and get started talking about the roof. All right, as you can see, I have my insulated bibs on and I have my jacket on because I'm in New Hampshire where it's cold. Now we're in November right now, starting to get chilly. Luckily, we've got warm enough weather we can still do some shingling. And I'm gonna show you guys a repair job that we're doing currently for the National Forest Service. One of the things that's unique about the Northeast is the way they prevent eye stams around the uh, leaves of the roof. And I've been all of the United States doing roofing projects and I've never seen this before until I got into the Northeast. And I thought it was a really cool concept the way they prevent eye stams. Now, normally on most projects, all you're gonna have is ice and water shield. So I'm gonna show you that up on the roof here in a moment. And I'm also going to show you how they've installed standing seam along the eaves of the roof to prevent those eye stamps, particularly around your windows, that's going to cause really severe eye stamps as the snow and the ice move. Okay, so now we're up on top of the roof. Typically on most roofing projects now nationwide, whether you're in warm weather environments or cold weather environments, most building codes require you to put ice and water shield about three feet around the eaves and the rakes of your roof. So typically you're going to see going to see ice and water shield how it is on this roof now this roof is a little bit differently they decided to put ice and water shield down across the entire sheeting of the roof a little bit different um, but most most projects that you're going to see is ice and water shield three feet along the eaves and the rakes of the roof which is also all along here and then you'll have a synthetic or regular uh, just regular felt underlayment along the entire uh, parts of the roof. Now, specifically what we're talking about here in New England that's different is again, most of the time you're just going to have ice and water shield here and then you're going to have ice and water shield here. So what they actually do here is something a little bit different. All right, so if you look along the eaves, they've actually installed standing seam metal. Whether you're a homeowner or a contractor out there, you might be wondering why in the hell would they install standing seam metal? Obviously, it's a lot more expensive. You're going to have to come in here and have a contractor that knows what he's doing to install this. Well, and, and if, more importantly, you can tell this is mechanically seamed standing seam. So this is not snap lock that's been installed. This is actually mechanically seamed metal. Now, mechanically seamed metal requires either crimpers or an actual machine to install this. So this adding adding this to the roof is a lot more expensive. Well, if it's so much more expensive, why would you add this in the first place? Well, the reason ice dams form in the first place is when the weather gets really cold and ice starts to form on top of a roof, it's gonna be, what's the best word I can use here? I want to use exaggerated. No, we don't want to when use the that. weather starts getting cold, there's going to be snow that's going to start forming on the roof. When there's snow that's forming on the roof, the sun a lot of times is going to cause it to start melting or it's going to get warm enough to where it's going to start melting. And more importantly, right over around windows, you have heat radiating from the inside of these buildings or a house. And what that causes is ice stamps to form on the eaves and the rakes of the roof, right around, especially around your eaves right down here. And when that happens is you're going to have more man because there's no possible way the water can leak through metal. Unlike shingles, what, shingles are designed to shed water. They're not designed to block water out. So there's simply a sign to shed water. That's why you see them on slopes roofs like this. So by putting ice and water shield down, you're trying to seal off that roof from ever leaking. And it does a great job. However, if you want to make sure that it's never gonna leak, you go ahead and put down metal. Now again, this is a much more expensive way of doing uh, how to prevent uh, eye stems to form on the roof. 
we have never done that in the southeast and i've never seen it until i came up here but i thought it was a really cool ingenious idea to basically prevent any water from entering a building or a home and i felt like i should tell you guys about it okay so we discussed what eye stems are and then how to prevent them with either ice and water shield or this new idea using sanding seam metal guys if you have any comments or questions below whether you're a homeowner or a contractor please leave them below we love to receive them if you like the video please give us a thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you haven't subscribed here's your official invitation and as always at digital roofing innovations we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values